Hello, in this video tutorial, you are going to learn how to configure FTP virtual hostname in iOS 8 on Windows Server 2012 by Sachin Sami part by tech.pdcrash.com. Okay, let's log on to Windows Server 2012 machine with administrative rights. Let me type down my very secret password. Okay. The server manager will automatically open as usual. Okay, in our previous tutorial, we have told you how to configure an FTP default website. So, in this tutorial, you are going to learn how to configure a virtual hostname. To do so, we are going to create a user. Basically, this is a second user. There is already a one user, which is FTP user. So, this user will be Sachin Sami. That is my name. Let's type it down. That is S-A-C-H-I-N-S-A-M-Y. Okay and the very secret password never going to tell you okay just hold on for a minute okay and let's check these two boxes and create there as you can see the user has been created let's double click on the user and the members tab as you can see it only have a permissions for users so let's click on cancel and let's close this and now let's open IS that is internet information service click on tools click on IS manager okay on the server node click on sites now if you see here there is already a default FTP site which we have created in our previous tutorial this default FTP site works on IP address now on the FTP authentication, you can see the basic authentication is enabled. Here on the FTP authorization tab, you can see we have selected specific users and given read and write permission. Okay, on the edit permission menu, let's click on it. Here you can see on the security tab, the FTP user I have added. And I have given the read and write permission to this particular user. Let's click cancel. In order to configure a virtual hostname properly, you have to create a default FTP site. Otherwise, you might get into some trouble. If you don't know how to configure a default FTP site, you can see our previous tutorial. I have given a link for that video tutorial in the description of this video. Now let's create a virtual hostname for this website. This is demo35.pdcrash.com. Now let's click on add FTP publishing. Okay. Here you can see all unsigned IP address is already selected. So we are going to use this. Now it is working on port 21 as usual. I'm going to click on enable virtual host name. Let's type the domain name for this FTP site. That will be demo35.pdcrash.com and that will going to work on port 21. Okay, so we have given a virtual host name to the site. Now let's select no SSL is required for this website as we do not have a SSL certificate right now. Now let's click next. Here I'm going to select basic authentication and the specific user as we have selected in our previous tutorial. Here I'm going to type a new user which we have created earlier. That is Sachin Sami. Let me type it down. Just hold on for a moment. Okay. This user have read and write permission for an FTP site. Let's click on finish. And FTP publishing was successful. Okay. Okay. So here you can see the manage FTP site. From here you can start stop the FTP server. And here are all of the modules which you can configure appropriately as you required. Now let's give a permission to a user which we have added in a FTP site. To give the permission to a user, I'm going to click edit permission on the action pane. Let's click on it. Okay. Okay. Just let me move this on the middle of the desktop. Click on security tab. Here you can see on the object name, the path of the folder on which we are giving a permission to this user. Here you can see all the users which have assigned different permissions by default. Now let's click on edit. On the edit button, I'm going to click on add. Advance, find now and from here let's find where is our user our username is Sachin Sami let's 
click on it okay i have selected the user now click okay and okay now this user has been added as you can see let's give this user write permission to this folder so now this user have read and write permission to this folder let's click okay and okay okay so now let's click on ftp authentication module okay here you can see anonymous authentication is disabled and the basic authentication is enabled let me go back let's click on authorization here is sachin sami has allowed read and write permission as we have given earlier now let's add another rule to this ftp site we are going to add one more user so that one another user that means two users will going to use this one ftp site now let's click on add allow rule click on specific user now this user we have created in our previous tutorial the name of this user is ftp user so let me type it down just hold on for a moment okay on the permissions option we are going to give only a read permission to this user so that this user will only able to read the files and cannot delete anything or write anything well i should repeat in order to configure this properly you should see our previous tutorial in which i am telling you how to create a default ftp site now let's go to now let's go to our client machine and let's check it out what happens when we try to connect to the ftp server so just hold on for a moment okay now we are on our client machine which is windows 7 and i have opened filezilla let's click on ftp manager click on new site let's give a descriptive name to this site that will be demo35.pdcrise.com okay on the host name let's type demo35.pdcrise.com which we have earlier configured okay let me type it down that is demo35 yeah as you can see demo35.pdcrise.com now now the port number is by default is 21 so we do not have to configure anything here on the logon type click on the drop down select ask for the password on the user let's type our domain name which is demo35.pdcrise.com just hold on for a moment let me type it down okay now you have to type a vertical line you will find a vertical line above the enter button of your keyboard so just check it out over there if you don't know and now i'm going to type the username that is search in sammy let me type it down okay now let's click on connect it is asking me for the password let me type it down my very very secret password okay and i have successfully connected to the ftp server using this ftp client software now this is the server folders and these are my local folders so let's copy this file to the server let me move and drop it on the server and now as you can see directory listing successful here you can see the file we just copied onto the server if you are still not able to find the vertical angle above the enter button let me show you on the on screen keyboard just hold on let me open the on screen keyboard it will be somewhere here ok here accessories and here you can find the on screen keyboard on the on screen keyboard you can see above the enter button there is a vertical line in order to get the vertical line you have to press shift on your keyboard and then press the vertical line key okay so let's close this and let me take you to another client machine which is using windows xp and we are going to connect we are going to connect using ftp user who only have read permission on the server so let's check it out okay so now we are on windows xp machine now as usual i am going to use filezilla and there is one file test me and another empty folder over here so let me close this folder right now and let me open filezilla okay let's go to site manager and let's create a new site let me type down that domain name so we don't forget which site we are using that is demo35.pdcrise.com so just hold on let me type it down okay 
there we go same thing here demo 35.ptechrise.com in the host name let me type it down okay and the port number which will be default 21 so i do not need to enter anything here i am going to select ask for the password let me type down okay so now on the user we are going to type the domain name and the username so just hold on that is demo 35.pdcast.com and the vertical line and then the username which is ftp user so just hold on let me type it down okay and now click on connect as you can see it is asking for the password let me enter my very very secret password now we're going to tell you click ok and as you can see successfully logged in to the ftp server if you see it is showing directory listing successful now here you can see all the remote folder of the server and let me show you on my desktop there is a copy folder which is over here and there is a test me file which is over here now i'm going to copy the test me file onto the server and let's see what happens okay let me pick this file and drop it onto the server so just hold on as you can see 550 access is denied critical file transfer error now if you remember the ftp user only have a read permission of a server so that means he can only read he cannot delete anything let's try to delete something and as you can see once again it is giving me 550 access is denied that means this user only have read permission he cannot write anything he cannot delete anything let's copy all of the folder from the server to my local machine now here you can see one folder on my desktop which is over here let me open it okay and now i am going to copy all of the files and folders from the server to my local machine so let me select all the files and folders which we are going to copy that is control a and right click and here i am going to click on download which will be here as you can see everything from the server has been copied to my local machine now all of the server files and folders has been copied very quickly because i am using this ftp connection over the lan so you can see all the folders over here which we have copied now let me close this okay so this completes our this tutorial i hope you like this tutorial and don't forget to watch our next tutorial which will be very informative for you hello friends thanks for watching this video tutorial if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to receive an email update when we post a new video share it with your technical it friends if you are facing any technical problem or have any suggestions post your comment here or you can catch me on google plus google talk facebook twitter and skype this video tutorial is presented by sachin semi powered by tech.pdecrise.com and you are watching me on youtube